Will you take 80? Sorry, it's essentially new. Open, but never used, and retail is 250. 125 is already a great deal. Price is firm, and interest is high. All I have is 50 bucks. Can't you please cut me a break? I'm a single mother of three kids. You're definitely not a mathematician. Yeah, so basically what this is saying is, I don't care if you have three kids. That's not my problem whatsoever. You chose to have three kids. If that means you can't afford this for 125, then sorry, but you can't afford it. I'm not cutting you a discount just because you're a mother like millions and billions of other people on this planet. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long Nail, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash choosing beggars. Let's get into it. One star, what a disappointing disaster. Waiting two hours extra early, only the fourth car in line for the free turkey and fixings this year. We did not get a pie, we did not receive any bread, or anything for a salad like your photos in the local paper showed. Sad beyond belief. We get it, they're just volunteers. But come on, a smallish turkey with an odd odor, no dessert of any kind, and absolutely nothing from the free coffee and breakfast tables? You ruined our Thanksgiving again! Oh, so it sounds like you've been doing this for multiple years now, and seems like it hasn't been a problem. So, you have a couple of options here. Either get what you get and don't throw a fit like you're three years old, or go buy your own Thanksgiving dinner. It's really that simple. They're doing a kind gesture. Nobody said you have to enjoy it. But guess what? If you don't, it's not their problem. They're trying to do something nice to help out the community, so how about you just go, oh yeah, you know what, maybe next year we won't do that and we'll try to save up enough money to get our own Thanksgiving dinner. I know, that, that, that sounds crazy, but maybe just try that next year because nobody wants to hear your whining about how the free food you got for Thanksgiving wasn't good enough. This is an easy fix. People who are truly concerned for tip earners should tip more. Otherwise, menu pricing will go up and everybody suffers. Bro, did you seriously just ask your customers to pay more to subsidize a low base salary? Please tell me which restaurants you run so I never patronize them. So that first comment is from the owner of three restaurants in Chicago who thinks it's better if other people just tip heavier so that he doesn't have to pay his employees a livable wage. So, so what you're saying is now we're just making the divide between tipping even greater when really the reasonable solution is just pay them a higher base salary. Yeah, that kind of solves the problem, but that means money comes out of the owner's pocket. So he doesn't want to do that. It should come out of your pocket. And you guys are just stingy if you don't tip 600% to make up for the lack of wages that I'm not paying my employees. It's like, dude, pay your employees. I'll still tip. I don't care if you're great. I don't mind tipping. The, the point is, I shouldn't go from having to tip 20 or whatever, 25% to, oh, now I'm expected to tip 50 to 100% just because this dude doesn't want to pay his employees. It just makes zero sense. Hey, are you guys coming tomorrow? Hey, hey, girly. I heard that you guys were going to be house sitting and animal watching. First of all, thank you. I just wanted to let you know a few rules and requests that we had. Please be here at 6.30 a.m. sharp for first feeding, 12 p.m. sharp for lunch, and 5.30 p.m. sharp for dinner. Two, please clean up around the food and water areas after each feeding. Make sure you're staying until they finish. The cat sometimes takes a while, so be mindful of that. Three, 15 minutes after feeding concludes, please take the dogs out individually for personal playtime. Four, during playtime, if they defecate, please pick up the remains. We're trying to keep the backyard clean. Five, each of the pups will need an individual walking each evening. Six, please message me or him at the conclusion of each trip and let us know if anything went wrong. Thanks again. We wish we could compensate you, but we went all out on this Cosmo trip and we're on a tight budget right now. Okay, well, if you're on a tight budget, then maybe you should lower your expectations of what somebody's doing for you for free. I get it. You want your pets to be taken care of. But, but come on, I mean, you're just asking way too much. Just, just say, hey, you know, if you could just make sure they're fed once or twice a day and take them out, that's all you needed to say. You, you didn't need to leave this six page thing or six request thing. I'm sure they know how to handle dogs while you're gone. 
and they're doing it for free. If you wanted this high quality class or you take them on certain walks at certain times and you watch them eat the food and, and, and you get, you know, three updates a day, then you should have been ready to pay someone. Because if you're just asking a friend or family member to do this as a favor, you're really taking full advantage of them right now. And they'll probably never want to help you out again. Am I the A for not giving my neighbor's son graduation money and baking 12 dozen cookies instead? Long story short, the day before yesterday, my neighbor called me asking me to bake 12 dozen cookies for their son's graduation celebration, which at the time of the call was about 20 hours. She said the cake they had ordered had somehow become lost in the order system and wouldn't be ready in time, that their son loves my chocolate chip cookies and it would mean the world and save the party. I agreed to help out. I went to the store and quickly bought all the ingredients, which for that amount of cookies came close to $300. I managed to get them all baked, arranged on trays, and set up at a party without issue until the end of the party. Mom walks up and thanks me for helping out and then asks me if I forgot to include a check in the graduation card. I calmly told her that the last minute baking marathon was my gift and said I was glad it all worked out. Mom said she appreciated my hard work, but that her son couldn't buy books for college with cookies and thought I should at least hand him some cash before I left. I left without doing so, and now the mom has texted me asking me to apologize to her son. Am I the A? Oh my gosh, you could not be further away from the A in this situation. Basically, you bailed the mom out because she's irresponsible and didn't have a backup plan or didn't want to pay for cookies or make cookies herself. And then she has the audacity to go, oh, by the way, I know you already spent $300, which is way more than I ever got from any individual person for any graduation, and is an extremely generous gift, as is, and goes up to you and says, oh, but you really need to give him more money because cookies ain't going to buy him books. Dude, I would have spit in her face right there and walked away and said, don't ever talk to me again. The, the, the disrespect is so high. You spent all day baking cookies. 12 dozen cookies, $300 worth of cookies. It's insane. It's insane. Basically, you got you got her free food for her kid, and that's just not good enough. You supplied the full dessert, and it's like, oh, that's not going to buy him his books. All right, then you buy him his books. All right, I bought him his cookies. You buy him his books. Fair deal? All right, then. And you're getting the better end of that deal. Free futon. Okay, she wants to come tonight. What's your address? It's too late tonight. She can only do it tonight. She has four kids. Yeah, unfortunately, I've gone to bed. Cannot do it tonight. Okay, if it's in the driveway, she can grab it. It's not in the driveway anymore because it was going to rain. It's not happening tonight. It's not happening ever. And you are getting a poor review for being rude. Oh, yeah, give me a poor review for the free futon that I'm giving away. I'm sure that's going to really impact my ability to give away the futon. I mean, seriously. At this point, it's like, oh, I'm giving it away for free. Worst comes to worst, I drive it to the dump. Oh, no, that, that's going to be so awful. These people are so entitled. Messaging late at night, she kindly said, oh, it's too late tonight, then repeated herself multiple times, and you couldn't get the hint. And so what do you do? You throw a temper tantrum. I'm giving you a bad review then. Okay, give the bad review. It's a free futon. I'm pretty sure somebody will be there to get it tomorrow. Hi, I'm a teen influencer with 47.2 thousand TikTok followers, and I get 100,000 views per video. Most of my audience is 14 to 17 years old and would love your jewelry and t-shirts. I want to collab with you by advertising your products to help you grow your business. If you send me three of the most expensive items in your store, I'll make a TikTok vid about them. I hope to hear back from you. Hi there, the best way you can support our small business is by purchasing from it. I clicked on your TikTok and it seems like you get 200 views per video and your followers are like 12. Unless your thousand TikTok followers with no forms of currency can help me pay off my student loans, please stop asking small businesses for free stuff. Thanks, clown. Yeah, clown, that pretty much sums up all these fake influencers. Bro, you have no influence, you have a few followers. You know what happened? You had one video that, that got a couple hundred thousand views, a few people hit the follow button, and now you think you're famous, and you want free stuff. 
That, that's not how that works, uh, especially within TikTok audience. A TikTok audience has to be so much bigger than like a YouTube audience, even Instagram. It, it, it just, it's just the way TikTok is. Unless you have like millions of followers, these companies most likely aren't going to be interested in you because on TikTok, a follow is much easier to get, which kind of makes it less valuable to them. So, you know, it's great. You have a thousand followers. Congratulations. I hope one day you get a hundred thousand and then a hundred million. But until then, please stop asking for free stuff. You just look ridiculous. The couple invited family and friends to their dream home for their weekend wedding celebration, saying it was God's plan that they should get married there. Just one problem. They didn't own the mansion and didn't get permission from the owner. Oh, what did, what did you think was going to happen? You're just going to show up, you and a hundred people and everything is going to go smooth as butter. Yeah, no, that, that, that's never what would happen in this situation. Of course the ops are going to get called. Of course your wedding is going to get ruined. What did you think? I mean, at the very, very, very bare minimum, you could kindly ask if you could hold like a small reception there because you think the house is super beautiful and maybe if they're super nice, they would let you but you can't just show up to people's houses and have a wedding there. I feel like it's so crazy saying that. I, I can't believe there's people that really need to hear, hey, you can't just have a wedding at somebody's house because you think it looks nice. An actual quote from an influencer who wanted me to address 250 wedding invites and save the dates cards. If it's just writing, surely you can do it yourself. Um. So I can't pay, but I'll shout you out to like my 500 plus followers. It's just writing. Okay, like this person said, if it's just writing, why don't you do it? Oh, you don't want to do it because it takes time and energy and skill and talent that you don't have. So guess what? You won't get this and you can type out your things. You can write them yourself, but you can't just expect people to do free work for you because you think it's easy. If it's that easy, you spend the hours, you learn the skill, and do it yourself. And then what do you know? You don't have to pay. It's really that simple. Potatoes or blackberries, anyone? Crops have come in, a nice surprise, since I just moved here. I'm a little hesitant on saying, pick what you want, since a woman tried to back her truck up and pull out all my blackberry bushes. I put in the work, and when I saw that was growing, tended to be the beds, using non-toxic repellents, even signing to them that night. All of a sudden, boom, fruits and veggies. So maybe five bucks and you can fill a tin full. I just really don't want to have someone try to take my entire bushes. She said free was free and called the ops on me. Thankfully, PD handled it beautifully, but she made a whole scene in front of my kids who had been so excited to help people pick ripe blackberries. So thanks, Heather, for trying to take someone's entire garden because you got offered a few berries. Yeah, this is the person that ruins it for everyone else because they can't just take a reasonable amount. They go, well, it's so free, so technically you can't tell me what I can and can't take. Or you're going, you're changing that now? Well, I'm going to sue you. It's like, bro, this person is doing a kind gesture to all the neighbors and you instead look at it as, oh, well, if I go grab all those blueberries, then I could probably, I could probably resell them and make money. It's like, dude. You're ruining it for everyone. And it's just blueberries or blackberries, whatever. Just take a few and move on with your day. You're ruining something that could be great because you're selfish. All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot posts from r slash choosing beggars. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And if you want to help support the channel for free, Anytime you have any shopping to do on Amazon, just click the link in the description down below. Do your shopping as regular. Won't cost you anything extra and it'll help support the channel. So I'd really appreciate it. Till next time. Peace, sucker.